Now, you may have seen some photos like this before. It's called tilt shift photography. And it's made with a special adapter which allows the lens to be put at a certain angle to create the miniaturization effect. Um, and this is a really simple project that anybody can do with some materials they can pick up from a local hardware store. But today I'm going to show you how to create a more uh, durable and longer lasting solution that is actually a 3D printed object. So you print off the adapter and it attaches the camera and you can really adjust it to your configurations to work with your camera lens combination. So check it out. Here's what you'll need to get started. A camera with a removable lens, in this case a Micro Four Thirds GF1. An extra lens, we're using a 50 millimeter Nikon E series, a set of digital calipers to take measurement, something to write with. You also need some 3D software like Autodesk's 123D or Google SketchUp. And if you have a 3D printer, great, but if not, don't worry, you can use a service like Pinoco or Shapeways to print off your 3D object and have it mailed directly to your house. Alright, time to get started. And remember, if you don't want to start from scratch, you can head over to Thingiverse.com and download all the design files for free. The first measurement we're going to take is in between the tabs on the camera body. Start by zeroing out your calipers and then measure in between the tabs and write down that number. Next we're going to use the lens we just removed and take three different measurements. The depth of the adapter to the body, the length of the tabs, and then the depth of the tabs. Now you're ready to take the measurement of the lens you're going to. Remember in this step to measure outside the tabs and write down that number. Next we need to determine the length that the adapter is going to be away from the camera body. To do this, remove your lens and hold it out in front of your camera until the image comes into focus. Then write down that measurement. It will help to have your aperture all the way open during this step. Now that we have our measurements, let's head over to the computer and sketch this thing up. Okay, I'm going to play this really fast just because I don't want to bore you, but you can follow along later in the tutorial and I'll do a more detailed step by step. But basically it involves creating your base grouping that, extending the next section up, giving it a rotation, and then scaling the top section out to fit around the base of the lens that you want to go to. Also check in the description for a link to download a plugin that allows you to save out to STL, which is the file type you'll need for your 3D printer. Alright, time to print this thing out. Let's open up that STL file in SkinForge or Replicator G and what we're going to do is let the program convert the STL file into G code which the printer can read. Uh, once that's done we're just going to load the file up and click print and wait for our object to be printed on the printer. And once the adapter is done printing just give it a good inspection, clean it up a little bit, and you may even want to shoot, a, shoot it with an air compressor before attaching it to your camera just to remove any excess dust. And When you're attaching the lens for the first time, it's a good idea to use a paint pen to mark the starting place just so you can align the tabs with the camera body itself. Alright guys, that's it. So get out there and shoot some tilt shift photography. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to head over to Instructables and vote for me in the Make It Real Challenge, where I have the opportunity to win a $50,000 3D printer. So share the project, and thanks for watching.